Now we had some snow yesterday, so we didn't work at all, and it's pretty doggone muddy today. We had about two inches of snow. We really made a mess of things. We're just finishing up getting the rest of this overhang put on. Still got the north side overhang. The guys over there are starting on the uh, trim around the bottom and getting the wainscoting put on and making a good go of today, even though it's raining or it was raining. So we're still at it, still going. Well, it's a little wet out here. Deep enough you can, uh, well, it's about a foot deep. Oh, there's Doug. But we're getting there. They're trying to get the uh, soffit hung up there on the north side. It's got a heck of a slope, and it's so dang wet out here that we're, you know, we're having to fight the mud. But today's uh, the end of the week, and they're going back. The uh, lifts are going back on Monday, so. Got to get, got to get it done what we can. Well, today's another day, and it's even wetter. The just rain just keeps coming, but they are finally putting on the siding. Just, man, the mud is just, just nasty. I put the tracks back on the case skid loader, and uh, yeah, that makes it easy. But what a mess! Look at that siding. That is just beautiful. Copper and ivory. That is something else. Hey, I'm holding up the the guys putting on the side tin. We've got the last sheet here putting on on the north side. And I'm having some bit of trouble with my camera, but as long as I can keep it working, they've got the whole roof put on. I'll show you what the roof looks like here in a minute. I'll give you a hint. It's the same color as that. <laughs> and it sure does look nice. So uh, hopefully I can keep my uh, camera working here and show you what that looks like here in a minute but this side's all done all the way down there looking good and there's the roof got some dirt dirt up here on this one end one and got some foot tracks going up there for them guys putting the ridge cap on a lot of people ask me why I chose this color I chose this color because well, it's copper, and so depending on how the sun looks at it, it's different colors. Or where you're standing, whatever. This see how see how this side looks kind of dark, but down here where the sun's kind of hitting it different, it looks goldish. And that really, really looks pretty cool to me. So that's what we decided. The sides are an ivory. And they came out a little bit tanner than I thought they were going to be. At least they have looked a little tanner. Um, so down here on the end, you can see the, the ivory sidewalls. It's looking quite a bit lighter colored than it, than it did to me earlier this morning. But again, that's the light effect. My shop, clear over there, is definitely a darker tan. But uh, I thought those two colors looked awfully good together. So that's what we came up with. Now, the doors were pretty much all framed in, and we were going to do overheads, so the overheads we were looking at um, essentially were not an option. So we had figured in a 32-foot end door with an overhead in it, but since we're going with slide doors, um, a 54-foot wall, or 54-foot endwise, with a 32 foot opening the door slid you know half half door slid over here and it'd be past the wall and we didn't want to have to do all that extra track work and put an extra supports out there in the end so we're reframing the door down to 27 foot making it narrower and that way the doors won't be past the end of the building when they're completely open so that's why we're reframing over there real quick just a couple extra posts and a little bit more lumber but it will work better that way maybe in the future we can do a overhead door and if we wanted to go bigger again then we could just knock those two posts back out wouldn't be a major deal but currently overheads are not an option so and at the top maybe you can see that's not a gap back there there's clear panel along the top both sides north and south to let in some natural lighting that's going to help brighten her up a lot easier without having to run over and flip the light switch on so that's what that is 
And we got somebody driving in here to talk, so we'll have to see what this guy's needing. Well, I apologize for this combination of videos taking so long, guys, but um, it's just been so freaking rainy and nasty um, that these guys haven't been able to work consecutively every day and every week. In fact, they took uh, like a week to 10 days off here a few days ago. Um, but they got most of the tin up. This this is the north side uh, where we were using the skid loader a little bit ago to hold them up. And we're working on putting up this end door here. And these guys over here are working on the outside putting up the, uh, the clear panel. We still got these two doors yet to hang. We put up the tin on this side. So most of the tin is up. We got just a few short wall sections right here and then a little bit there and then the end to finish in and then of course we got our walkthrough doors we got to get the, the frames in for those I got the doors already but we don't have the frames we had some doors from uh, a prior project that never got done so we're gonna use those in place of the and have an order of new doors and frames so we're just anyway Coming along pretty darn good. We've got a bunch of grading yet to do outside. Because obviously the water's coming in here when it does rain. And it's making a heck of a mess. So, looks like they're needing me down here on the end. So I'm going to go help these guys out. But like I said, it's just, it's just muddier than crap out. And uh, these guys are wanting to get doing other projects. So... They asked yesterday if they if I cared if they came out and I'm like, yeah, we'll get them. go for it. We're gonna have to fight the mud. But the sun's trying to come out today. It's just uh, it's just freaking muddy everywhere. So anyway, I'm still plugging away at her. Just fighting the mud. Well, it's done. There it is. It is one monster of a building. Get my hand out of the way there. So, as you can see, the copper's got kind of a different color where the sun hits it in different spots. Over there on the far side, she's kind of shiny. Over here, she's more darker. And we've got two big 24 foot doors on this side. Ended up going with a 27 on this end so the, the doors wouldn't stick past the building. And clear light panels up top to knock down on the need for electricity right away. So it will be powered here sooner or later, but at the moment it's not. That way we can get by with just a little bit of sunlight coming through late in the evening. It's not too bad. Of course, during the day it's pretty dang bright in there. Get the inside here real quick. Still working on cleaning up. We've got the extra tin at the scraps. Some two by fours over there yet. And look at that big door. She is a monster. Look how far down there it is, man. And we got a walkthrough door on the one side, on the far end, and on the other side. Didn't put a walkthrough on that far end because well there's not really much room for one he's pretty monstrous I'm just gonna go down here to the other end here 18 foot ceiling man that's really up there I shouldn't be hitting the combine or tractor top up there Okay, a little mud in here. Got uh, got some drainage outside we're doing yet. But look how far down there that is. Man, that's a long way. With those clear panels up on top, it just lets in all sorts of natural lighting. Beautiful shop. Turned out perfect. Now, as far as putting concrete and the other in here insulating, yeah, maybe sometime in the future this will get uh, upgraded and made into a shop rather than a machine shed but 
For now, it's just gonna be dry storage, winter storage, whatever you wanna call it. Put the tractors and combine and stuff in here. All kinds of stuff. So that's it. Pretty much the end of the project on this. I guess not quite. We still have yet to put on the gutters. And they're, they're behind schedule as well as everybody else is. Sorry for the wind, it's pretty dang windy today. But there will be gutters all the way north side and south side. And I'm hoping within not too much time we can get them plumbed down through the ground into a tile line so we don't have too much surface runoff because that's a big roof to be running off on the ground. But anyway, stay tuned for the next stuff, guys. We got more stuff coming up. Till then, catch you later.